When I log in to the Learning Designer, I have two choices. I can look at the browser screen or the designer screen. I'm going to explore the browser screen. The browser screen shows me a directory of all of the designs that have been created by users of the Learning Designer so far. I'm going to look in the category Grouped by User. Here I can see the designs created by different users. So for instance, if I click on Brigitte, I can see that she's created a design called Running a Virtual Class. That's something I'm interested in, so I'm going to take a look at her design. Now I think I can use this design myself. I think I can adapt it to a slightly different purpose. And so what I'm going to do is turn editing on. What that does is it creates a copy of the original design for me. But the first thing I need to do is change that name because I don't want it to be called copy of running a virtual class. I think I'm going to call it teaching with wikis and blogs. And I'm going to use Brigitte's central idea but adapt it to my own purposes. So while she says in her first TLA that she wants the students to find out about web conferencing tools. I'm going to suggest they find out about wikis and blog tools. And then I can go on and adapt the original design to my own needs. I can change the learning types. I can change the times. And all the changes that I make are going to be reflected in the pie chart. And when I'm finished, I can click Save to create a design adapted from the original design with the new name, which will appear under my list of designs.